wants the title of the picture. What do you mean? He wants to be the title of the picture. He's above the title. He's the only one above the title. That's the deal. No. He wants to be the title, so nothing gets in the way of his name. He wants to change the name of the picture to Fabio? Yeah. How are people going to know what the picture's about? Not his problem. You mean Fabio starring... Nobody else stars. Fabio with? How am I going to sell that to the studio? Not his problem. Does he want anyone else in the movie? Sure, why not? He doesn't care. Fabio with? It's the only way you're going to get him. I'll get back to you. We can't give him the title of the picture. It's just not right. How about if we give him bigger letters? He's already got bigger letters. No, no, I mean real big. Much bigger than the title. Leave the title in, but make it small. Almost no one notices it. You mean make the title tiny? Yeah, mouse type. I don't know if he'll go for that. It's the best we can do. After all, the title has some appeal. It's a sequel. Remind him it's a sequel with its own appeal. I can't. He didn't do the original. I mean, he's making 32 mil. I'll get back to you. He still wants the title of the picture. Did you tell him about the letters? He doesn't care about the letters. He's tired of sharing the audience's attention with the title. He has star appeal. The title has no star appeal. He thinks it does. It just lets you know what the picture's about. He thinks people mention the title as a way of identifying the picture, rather than mentioning his name. You mean when they buy the tickets? Yeah. People should go to the ticket booth and ask for Fabio. He wants that. Two tickets for Fabio. That's what he's after. I got it. The next Titanic. Yeah? Guaranteed. I might be interested. <laughs> you and everyone else. Whose is it? I can't tell you. Look, uh, I'm not going to anyone else. Naturally? Not yet. Can you tell me anything? What do you need to know? What's it about? Well, it's kind of like, uh, it's hard to describe. It's lots of different things. Well, kind of like, um, Pulp Fiction. Yeah. I like it. But that's just the beginning. What else? What else is there? I should know more. OK. What? Is it uh, science fiction? It would be unbelievable if it was a pulp science fiction. That's exactly what it is. No shit! A pulp science fiction. That is fabulous. So you want to ink this? What else? What else what? What else? You need more? Does it um, take place on Earth? Earth meaning the planet, or Earth meaning soil? Earth the planet would be better. We'd save 10 mil. The planet. But another world would be incredible. Mars. This is shaping up. Is there anyone attached? That's the great thing. It could go either way. So do we have a deal in place, or what? <sighs> I should know more. More? God, what? Is there a kid in it? Is that what you want? It's important. Of course there's a kid in it. Terrific. Is it set in the future? Like tomorrow? No, 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 no. The future, future. That would be fabulous. Of course it is. One more thing. What? God. Is, um, is the story complicated? It would be, it would be better if the story's simple. The simplest. Spectacular. A simple future pulp science fiction with a kid that takes place on Mars. Bingo. I want it. Yeah. I'm in trouble. What do you need? Pulp fiction. In space. For Fabio. No problem. When do you need it? Tomorrow. You're in luck. I'm free this afternoon. Put it on Mars. Mars. And keep it simple. I'll use one syllable word. Oh, it needs to be in the future. How far? Whatever, but later than next week. Uh, how many in the cast? Fabio and a kid. Oh, I like it. Punk and kid. Get the kid? There's an offer out to Macaulay Culkin. Hmm. He's at Betty Ford. You sure? I saw him in the game room. I just checked out. 
Doesn't he have a kid brother? Yeah, yeah, he was there too. They were playing foosball. Damn. Are there any more Baldwins? What about Story? You want Story? Uh, not necessarily. How about Hunk meets Kid? Too complicated. Hunk is Kid. Way too complicated. I think I know what you want. You must take me for a complete full toy line. Why should I say Captain Marine like Hong will be underground? You are mistaken, Colonel. I have no idea what you are talking about. It's too long. So will cut. I can't see where. I can. I know just where. Yeah. Could you make her sound more blonde? Hold up the script. Go ahead, Sidney. Hold it up. Yeah, and, and, and give him less of an accent. Now rip up the second page. Go ahead, just rip it up. That's much better. Who was that kid in the new Star Wars? I didn't see that. What about that cute little kid in Stuart Little? You know, I missed it. How about one of the kids from the Flintstones? How was that? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, what about that fabulous kid in the Sixth Sense? That is definitely on my list. Where do you find your actors? Eh, word of mouth. I'll do it. Wonderful. There's one thing. Name it. I can't work after dark. But the picture shoots at night. Celeste told me the camera's against me then. Celeste? Who's Celeste? My psychic. Celeste prefers I stay away from the camera as much as possible on this one. How are you going to like the picture, Gordon, if you don't get near the camera? I've done it before. You have? My Oscar. Roads before dawn? I never even showed up on the set. You beeped me. You beeped me. I didn't beep. Okay. I didn't, you beep, uh, it's all right. Uh, you know, I, I, no problem, I'll call him. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you, Mark. I'm Stan, I'm the first. You're gonna be in dressing room, yeah, I'm talking to him right now. He's right here, not a problem. You're gonna be in dressing room 20. It's right near craft service. Yeah, okay. As long as you can tell Bob to keep it lit, we shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, go for Stan. The uh, paperwork is all in the dressing room, so you'll, You'll be right over there. Yeah. Yeah, he's still there. Uh, he's 10 200. Okay. He's still pretty backed up. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Sydney. Hi, how are you? Is he still in the trailer? That sounds good. Yeah, what's the name of the picture? No, not this picture. I I, I know the name of this picture. Mm hmm. Fabio. Yeah. No, I know Fabio's not in this picture. Now just tell the clown to get out of the trailer because everybody's waiting for him. No, not you, Sydney. <laughs> You're not a clown. No, get you, well, throw water on him. No, not you, Sid. No, not. Yeah. Fabio. I know you can't throw water on Fabio because Fabio's not in the picture. Oh, I know he's in your picture, Sid. That's right. Yeah, this is Stan. Yeah, well, just tell him to get out of the trailer. Yeah, okay, Sid, what are the dates? No, I know what date it is, you stupid trainee. Uh, Sid, uh, listen, I, I might be available. I just, I have to, I have to check with my shrink. Yeah, just shut up! Can I speak to Hal? He's at lunch. Lunch? What, what if somebody calls? How am I supposed to get a job if he's not even in the building? There's interest in you for new science fiction film. There is? We're putting together a package. Are you allergic to anything? No, why? It takes place on Mars. Are they going there? Well, they're not sure yet. What about makeup? Well, what about it? I don't mind makeup. The part requires 23 hours of makeup. It's not a problem. You know, it'll give me plenty of time to prepare. What, what's it about? Kind of like Pulp Fiction. That's great. Any story? A little. I read it while you were on hold. Who am I up for? The kid. Can you play 12? Absolutely. When do they want to see me? Half an hour. Uh, what's it called? Fabio. No, no, no. What's the name of the movie? Fabio. Who's in it? Guess. When I did, I can't believe it's not Mayo. I knew it was the beginning for Fabio. Every time I think of Fabio, I always see in big picture. Science fiction is good, 
My life is fantasy. I've set aside uh, five days for the promotion of picture, but for shooting, I cannot give so much. All women in the world love Fabio. Soon, everyone will love Fabio. Men, women, boys, girls, even beasts. The beast of the field and the fowl of the air will flock to Fabio. Fortissimo! How'd it go? He loved me. I knew he would. I gotta thank you, man. All that kid stuff that worked like a charm. The slingshot? Yeah, yeah! Okay, man. Everything, everything. The one thing was, I couldn't find a way to swing the bat. You know, the room was too small. Well, you were there. You had to go with your instincts. I think I got a shot. Great. One thing? What? He asked me to cluck. To cluck? Yeah, to cluck. You mean, the cluck cluck? No, the sound. Walk! It means he likes you. Kind of threw me. Did you remember what I told you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepare to be unprepared. But then, you know, he asked me if I was allergic to feathers. Oh, he must really like you. What did you tell him? I didn't know what to tell him, so I just, I mumbled. Well, you nailed it, man. Congratulations. We got a problem. What? He doesn't like the kid. What's not to like? He's a kid. What's wrong with him? He thinks he'll steal the picture. Oh, tell him not to worry. He's a terrible actor. I've seen his last six films. I know. He's my client. He doesn't want him in the picture. That's all we got. Him and a kid. The script's finished. He wants a chicken in the part. A what? A chicken. A chicken? Yeah. A chicken. You know, like, what? In the picture? You kidding, Hal? Good idea. How's it a good idea? Think about it. Chickens are cute, kind of. And it's never been done. Come on, a chicken? Listen to what you're saying. What's wrong with the chicken? There haven't been a lot of dog pictures and horse pictures and bug pictures. They made three Beethoven dog movies and all of them made money. And look at Babe. That's a pig. It even showed up at the Oscars, didn't it? You mean like a G picture? You'll triple the grosses. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Doesn't he have some kind of a problem with chickens? Absolutely not. Didn't I see something on hard copy? That was a setup. Do we proceed? I don't know. The only way you're going to get him. Fabio and a chicken? His mind's made up. How about a goose? I never did see that. Well, was there a real chicken in Chicken Run? Did I see that? You know, Chicken Run. I don't remember. Was there a chicken anywhere in Jurassic Park? You know, I never got to that. Ah! And the Screen Actors Guild is on my ass because no ducks were seen for the chicken. Yeah, I figured that. And I got a boycott, Kraft Services is pissed, and the duck farmers in Delaware are threatening a million duck march on Hollywood. Get me Sparky's agent. Well, who's Sparky? The chicken! Oh, right. The, the chicken. Uh, why is Kraft Service pissed? <laughs> because they can't serve eggs on the set. You know how the crew loves breakfast burritos? Damn, breakfast burritos. I'm, and you're not even in production. I'm worried. Joe, look, this is all very good for publicity. Uh, why don't we do a whole chicken backlash thing? Uh, you know, first it's uh, the chickens, then it's, I don't know, pigeons. Maybe. But that Scorsese Christ picture got a lot of heat. It didn't do bupkis at the box office. This must be the agent. Let me take it. Hello? Hello? Who am I speaking to, please? Hello? I represent the studio. I'm concerned uh, with all the legal backlash from all the foul groups. Can you help me on that? Hello? Hello? I was afraid of that. What? They're not talking. Fabio wants out. What do you mean? He's the title of the picture. He hates the chicken. What's the hate? It's a chicken. He hates it. So we get another chicken. What's the big deal? 
He doesn't want to see another chicken for the rest of his life. Christ, this is going to cost me a fortune. Everything's in place. Sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it, Hal. What the hell am I going to do? There's always razor blades in the bathtub. What? Look, what's the big deal? Get another star. Everybody's at Sundance. Ah, Sundance. Shit, I gotta catch my flight. This is bad. This is very bad. I'll never eat lunch in Hollywood again. They'll hang me from the sign. It's just not gonna work out. Oh, shoot, damn it. We have them locked up solid for the length of the picture. Six days. Not the way I see it. You can't do this to me. It's done. Think of all the people that are counting on this picture. Not his problem. What about the 32 mil? We expect it. Remember, it's pay or play. But, but, what about the chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. Run for cover. Hide in your homes. Coming soon to a theater near you. The meanest, baddest, foulest beast in the universe. This isn't the blob, or even the thing, but the final chapter in the book called Mankind. Just when you thought it was safe to call the colonel, it's Sparky in Fall Chicken on Mars, the science fiction thriller. Don't meet this bird in a barnyard, or he'll have you extra crispy. This summer, the epic saga that took a lifetime to make. Pulp Chicken on Mars. Hairstyles by Fabio. You'll be another Papa Dion, your name in neon. If you get lucky, you go. Yes, buddy, you'll arrive if you can stop this five. Hooray for Hollywood. Hooray for Hollywood. That holy, wild and holy Hollywood. They hire cowboys and they hang their chaps up and all their maps up and give them all that they lack. You can do if your horse can act. Hooray for Hollywood. They hire fellas whose physiques are good. And then they tell them they're the perfect shape men to act like eight men. And they convince them they should. They make them grunt and yell. And people think. 